Hi everybody, my name is Vladislav and I will describe in this video some basic operation with AFM imaging regarding the cleaning, the suppressing the noise and some operation. So let's start, but before we start, it would be very nice to see the difference between the original image and what we done. And for that, we have something here called spun and unspun pages. So I just open one image. And if I will click here the unspun pages, I will get a sub window here. And what's possible here is to open second image like this. So this one is the original which I have and this is the same as I have before. Right now I click it, you can see the ground gray curve, something like that. And uh, we can start to do some operation. So let's open. First rotation I will describe and it's called rotate. And the rotation is very easy one, you just rotate your image define your angle border and click execute that's it and you can see just rotate in one direction as you want it's easy let's go to the next one and next one will be image smart and what you can do here that you can subtract or actually you can do more things between the images and each pixel of the image will be uh, subtract or divide or multiplied just basic mathematics and the results will be given as a new image file uh, what you can do here the options are very easy one you just need to load the file one is already loaded when you click it on the image map that's the image A, the image B, you need to load it. And then you will have the description here. You have some scaling factor. You need to choose your channel you want to use because we have uh, eight channels for our images here. And then just click execute. That's it, no, no way to describe it more. Uh, maybe you are asking what's important, why is here such an option? The only reason for that I know is if you are playing with Latter First Microscopy. Uh, if you are playing with Latter First Microscopy and you are measuring the Latter Firsts, uh, then you get a results as an AFM image. The problem is that the topography has a very huge effect on the Latter images. But the effect is different if you're going from left to right and from right to left. So it's like trace and trace depending. So you can load one image here from the trace and second from replace. Then you can subtract it or add it actually and you will suppress the effect from topography. That's the only reason from image mod I know. But no need to talk more about it. Uh, three more options I will talk today about. And let's start with erase. Erase is very easy option, but first we need to flatten the image to see more details. So just single flatten, also the same parameters for the second window and let's go to erase and also here erase is the most simplest way and generally you just mark a line for example here 
and click execute. The result is that this line will be deleted from the file and replace it from the based on the two lines next to this one. So it will make an average from the two lines, one up, one down, of course, and just click execute. If I will do the line, it's not visible much. Also, like you can see, it's based on uh, the problem here with this function is that if you have a lot of lines, like thousand, it's very hard to find the correct position. The reason for such a function is that if you make any changes, or I don't know, we just uh, jump next to the AFM doing measurements, you can have just one line misaligned during the measurement. So that's the easy way how to suppress such effects, such error, and you will just deleting one line and replacing. So it works. Uh, much common problems are solved with something called clean image. Clean image uh, function does two things. If you have some spikes, spikes uh, comes from the very often from bad tracking during the imaging. Uh, you have some big feature, piece of dust, uh, nanoparticles, and when you are scanning over the particle on the back side of the particle the system is too slow to follow the surface and it just slowly go down it makes beautiful spikes behind each feature on the image unfortunately i don't have such a bad images in my gallery or actually this is the gallery from lots of Akata from czech academy of sites so i cannot show you what's the results but generally if you have some feature with some spikes this is the way how to suppress it and the settings is very easy remove the spikes on and then you define your cutoff cutoff is defined of the uh, how much arrows do you want to apply to say it's a spike generally for each point of uh, you find the arrow based on the uh, surrounding pixel and you calculate the sigma and you say with this number hey if the error is uh, smaller than three sigma it's okay if it's bigger compensate it and compensating means replace the value based on the surroundings so the small number here, the higher effect about the spike compensation. Oh, the second part is the strikes. I don't know if it's called strikes, but I, I would call it like that. And that's the line error, very similar to erase one. And again, the, you will calculate the sigma from the surrounding pixels, and if the error is higher than your two sigma then you will replace the number the rule here is the smaller the number the higher effect it has it, uh, it has so let's try it if we can see some difference but i would say yeah it works you can see here this one yeah particle and some spike this uh, this spike is from post uh, from the flattening it's not real but it it looks like a spike and here the spikes are cut off so you cannot see the spike is here so i didn't expect such a high effect so it's nice and that's it uh, it's very common that you will start with the flattening, you flatten your image and then just click clean the image if there are any spikes, it's done.
and you continue with your measurements. The last point and very easy is called curb and split. And curb and split is the way how to make a new SPM file from your image. Oh, the best way you are interested in just in this area and you just mark a place where do you want more. Your results give you what's the how many points do you have, how many lines do you have, what's the scan size of your certain area and then click create files and you have a new SPM file and you can operate it as, uh, with a new SPM file. It's useful when you have a big scan and you are interested in just like one particle because of something or uh, that you won't, don't want to show something else because there is some noise messy and on a part of the image it's, uh, it's usable or if it's very hard to compensate the tilt of the sample so you can just select a small area which would be okay for the tilt compensation so that's it for this video see you next time thank you for attention bye bye